University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, the student mind is about to get another thorough winnowing and whichever team has more wheat than chaff at the gong will earn themselves a place in the second round of this competition. Whether the losers will return to play again depends on whether they're among the four highest scoring losing teams from these first round matches. Bristol University traces its origins to a 19th century university college with significant local support and the backing of the local Fry and Wills families who'd made their piles in chocolate and tobacco respectively, it received its royal charter in 1909. Alumni include the writers Angela Carter and David Nichols, the broadcasters Alice Stewart, Sue Lawley and Susanna Reid, the illusionist Derren Brown and the actor and writer Simon Pegg. Representing a student population of nearly 22,000 with an average age of 31, let's meet the Bristol team. Hello, my name's George Sumner. I'm originally from South London, but now living in Bristol, and I'm studying physics. Hi, I'm Owen Iredale. I'm from Hadley in Suffolk, and I'm studying biology. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Anne LeMaist. Originally from Adelaide, South Australia, I now live in Bristol. I'm studying for an MA in history. Hi, my name's Pushan Basu. I'm from Newcastle, and I'm studying English literature. Queen's University Belfast also dates to the 19th century, beginning life as a non-denominational alternative to the Anglican Trinity College Dublin, and it received its royal charter in 1908. Alumni include the Nobel laureate Seamus Heaney and David Trimble, the DUP's Arlene Foster, the former president of Ireland Mary McAleese, the actor Stephen Ray and the comedian Patrick Keelty, representing around 24,000 students and with an average age of 26, Let's meet tonight's team. Hello, I'm Matthew Hooton. I'm from Elm Park in Havering, and I'm studying for a PhD in exoplanet atmospheres. Hi, I'm Maria McQuillan. I'm from Luma Valley, and I'm studying English. And their captain? Hi, I'm Stephanie Merritt. I'm originally from Surrey, and I am also studying for a PhD in exoplanet atmospheres. Hello, I'm James Breen. I'm from Belfast, and I'm studying for an MSc in software development. Right, 10 points at stake for this. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Here's your first starter for 10. Ignoring diacritical marks, which alcoholic spirit shares its spelling with the Seljuk Sultanate established in Anatolia in the late 11th century? The spirit in question is an ingredient of cocktails such as dark and stormy and... Queensbury. Rum. Rum. Rum is correct, yes. Your bonuses, Queens, are on writers buried in London's Highgate Cemetery. In each case, name the person from the description. Firstly, a Victorian poet who initially published under the pseudonym Ellen Allain. Her collections include The Prince's Progress and other poems. Don't know. Um, I'm honestly not sure. Um, Christina Rossetti? Christina Rossetti? Correct. Secondly, a Liverpool-born novelist who died in 2010, noted for her psychological portrayals of the English working classes. Her works include Injury Time, Every Man for Himself and Master Georgie. No, she did Pass. Beryl Bainbridge. And finally, a Warwickshire-born Victorian novelist and editor of the Westminster Review. Her works include Felix Holtz, The Radical, and Romola. Okay. Edith Wharton? No, it's George Eliot or Mary Ann Evans, as she really was. Ten points for this. The only undisputed fact is that he died at Pontefract. For which king does this couplet ah. refer? Queen's Hooton. Richard II. Richard II is correct. <laughs> you get some bonuses on the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Queens. Ramakrishnan, Stites and Yonath were awarded the prize in 2009 for studies of the structure and function of what particles in living cells used in protein synthesis? Um, Rhizosomes, possibly? Right. This is you. No, right. Uh, ribosomes. 
ribosomes? Correct. Okay. Curl, Croto and Smalley received the prize in 1996 for their discovery of which series of hollow carbon molecules named um, after a US architect? Oh, that's a sub common Latin carbon nanotubes are hollow. I mean, um, it's named after an architect. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Then something black, possibly. Something. Buckminster Fullerene. Or something. something. Buckminster Fullerene, it's hollow. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Buckminster Fullerene. Buckminster Fullerene? Correct. Willard Frank Libby was awarded the prize in 1960 for his development of which method of determining the age of organic or fossilised material? Carbon dating. Carbon dating. Correct. Nice. Right, ten points for this. In which constellation did astronomers discover the first exoplanet orbiting a main-sequence star? The constellation's three-letter abbreviation has the same spelling... Queen's Hooton. Pegasus. Pegasus is correct. Your bonuses are on textile art, Queens. In 2015, Cornelia Parker unveiled an installation that was an embroidered representation of the Wikipedia article on which historical artefact. Among those who contributed stitching were Doreen Lawrence, Peter Tatchell and 36 prisoners. Bay Tapestry, maybe? Maybe it's Bay Tapestry. It's the only thing I could think. <laughs> the Bay of Tapestry? No, it's the Magna Carta. Oh. First shown at the National Gallery in 2017, the Caged Bird Song is a tapestry designed by which British artist? It includes a portrait of the footballer Mario Balotelli as a cocktail waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds brilliant, but I have no idea. Contemporary British artists. Who do I know? The only one I know is that Tracy. What's Tracy Ellen. Yeah, oh. she's a bit more controversial. Who's your boy who saw the guy in the Damien Hurst, but he's in there. Just right? say something, we don't know. What do you call the guy who did the... Oh. the and who did the vases? And the one... Ah, oh, God, I can't remember the name. Go, go I can't think of it. <laughs> Damien Hurst? No, it's Chris Offaly. Oh, and finally, depicting the seven ages of man on a background of hundreds of brand names, the Walthamstow Tapestry is a 2009 work by which British artist? Oh, was it again. Give me back to possibly? No, he's, he's, he's graffiti. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Take him so. laughs> the man's like expanded yeah, on it. Yeah. Come on. I have no idea. Pass. It's Grayson Perry. Yeah. We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a definition in French of a two word French compound noun that's been assimilated into English as a loan phrase. Ten points if you can identify the term. Bristol Iredale. Faux pas? Faux pas is correct, yes. <laughs> For your picture bonuses, you're going to get three more definitions in French of common French loan phrases. Five points for each term you can work out. Firstly, for five, a two word phrase. Something nouveau riche. Yeah. yeah. Nouveau riche? Correct. Secondly, another two word term. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not like this. Who doesn't take on social conventions? One who bucks social conventions? Or who turns their choice to the redefinition of which they are part? They read someone who redefines the mission they are part of. Someone who's a trailblazer somewhere. I don't know. Appreciate your translation. Um, <laughs> no. No, sorry. no, we don't know. That's enfant terrible. Oh. And finally. Let's see if Laissez-faire. Laissez-faire is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which poem of 1956 has been described as a violent meditation, a hurricane of holies that entangles the crew, the sublime and the mundane in a new sacred order? It's considered to be one of the most important poems of the Beat Generation. Bristol Basu. Howl. Howl by Ginsberg is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on pairs of four-letter words that differ by a single letter, for example, whole and mole. In each case, give both words from the descriptions. Firstly, the surname of the British Prime Minister from 1841 to 46, and the human bone, also known as the calcaneus. Um, OK. Prime Minister or bones? <laughs> Peel and heel? Yes. Yeah. Peel and heel? Correct. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the surname of the Japanese Prime Minister from 1941 to 44, 
and the name of Dorothy Gale's dog in The Wizard of Oz. Toto and... Toto? Just a guess. That's worth it. Toto and Togo? No, it's Tojo. It's a J rather than a G. Is that what you meant? Yes. T-O-G. <laughs> no, T-O-T-O-G-O -T -O -G -O is I what I had Togo in my mind. I think Togo is a country. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> right, uh, final five points, then. I'm not going to give you those, those marks. Fine. The surname of the Italian Prime Minister assassinated in 1978 and the Spanish word for bull. Bull. Moro. Toro and Moro? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What word is formed by concatenating, in order, the symbols of the SI units of time, electric charge, electric current and length? Queen's Hooton. Scam. Scam is correct. Three questions on new atheism and those who've been called the four horsemen of the non-apocalypse. In each case, name the horsemen from the description. Firstly, a US philosopher and neuroscientist, born 1967. His publications include The End of Faith, Letter to a Christian Nation and The Moral Landscape. Is Richard Hitchens born in the US or something? I don't know. Probably not. I have no idea. I, I don't think Hitchens it's Richard's thing. It's not Richard Dawkins, no. No, yeah. I choose someone we don't know. I'd go for Hitchens or Dawkins. Sure. Yeah. But I think it's British, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well have or Daniel Dennett, is he American? Um, I believe he's American. Should I try Daniel Dennett? What do you think? True Catholic. <laughs> Daniel Dennett? No, it's Sam Harris. Oh, well. Born 1942, the US philosopher and cognitive scientist whose publications include Breaking the Spell, Darwin's Dangerous Idea and The Intentional Stance. This one is Daniel. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Is this one Daniel Dennett? That is Daniel Dennett. <laughs> and finally, an English-born journalist and essayist whose publications include God is Not Great and he died in 2011. That's correct. That's Christopher Hitchens. Hitchens. Correct. Ten points for this. Born in Hanover, who observed in a work of 1951 that the ideal subject of totalitarian rule is people for whom the distinction between fact and fiction and the distinction between true and false no longer exist. She was played by Barbara Sokova in the biographical <laughs> drama... Bristol Basu. Hannah Arendt. Hannah Arendt is correct. So your bonuses, Bristol, are on biological classification. Firstly, in a 1990 paper, the US microbiologist Carl Woese proposed a new taxon above the level of kingdom. What name did he give to this taxon? Domain. Domain. Correct. Woese used differences in which ribosomal constituent to construct this phylogeny. Parts of the ribosome? Just, just to say mitochondria is wrong, but. Mitochondria? Yeah, it's wrong, but. Mitochondria? No, it's 16 srRNA. And finally, organisms having a distinct nuclear membrane are placed in which domain? Um, eukaryotes. No, hang on. Yeah, eukaryotes. 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 Eukaryotes or eukarya is correct, yes. We're going to take a music round up. Your music starter, you'll hear excerpts from several singles that were all released in the UK in the same year. For ten points, all you have to do is to tell me the year, and you can have a year either way. Well, we can dance if we want to. Bristol Iredale. 1982. Well done, it was 1983, I'll accept that, <laughs> yes. Featured on the inaugural Now That's What I Call Music compilation al album. Your music bonuses are three more collections of singles all released in the UK in the same year. This time I want the exact year in question, but to give you a clue, all three years are prime numbers. <laughs> Firstly... What is love? J. 
Jane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just think it might be wrong, but uh, if, if you have any idea of doing that. 1991? No, it's not a prime number, that is 1993. Oh, Secondly, can you get me a decade? <laughs> It'll be Come on. 71. 71? 1971. No, that isn't a prime number either. It's 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine not knowing. <laughs> and finally. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that sounds kind of right. Yeah, what it says is not by five or three. Or, yeah. It was 2011, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. John Keats dedicated Endymion to the memory of which English poet? Bristol Basu. Shelley. No, who died... You lose five points. Who died in 1770. Wordsworth called him the marvellous boy, the sleepless soul that perished in its pride, referring to the fact that he died only months before his 18th birthday. Queen's Hooter. Tennyson. What? Tennyson? <laughs> no, it's Chatterton. Ten points for this. Which country's independence was declared on the Ipiranga Plain in September 1822 by its regent Dom Pedro, the heir to the Portuguese throne? Bristol Idale. Brazil. Brazil is correct. Right, you get a set of bonuses on the American painter John Singleton Copley, born in Boston in 1738. Copley's portraits often use the Rococo device of portraying the subject with objects from their daily life. Which folk hero of the American Revolution did he portray with a silver teapot? Paul Revere. Correct. What event of 1773 caused Copley to emigrate to London? His father-in-law was a merchant with an exclusive contract with the East India Company. Boston Tea, Party. Boston Tea Party. Correct. In London, Brooke Watson, a future Lord Mayor, commissioned Copley to paint an episode from Watson's youth. It shows his rescue from an attack by what large carnivorous animal? Wolf? Wolf? No, it was a shark. He lost one of his legs. <laughs> A starter for ten points. Which of Shakespeare's plays has as its main source the 1588 work Pandosto by Robert Greene? This includes characters such as Bellaria, Queen of Bohemia, and Aegisthus, King of Sicilia. Bristol Iredale. A Winter's Tale? Correct. You get a set of bonuses on Welsh history now. His aims, including a Welsh parliament, a reformed church and two universities. Which Welsh prince began a revolt against English rule from 1400? Is that too late for, that too late for Glendale? That's the only one I can actually think of. Yeah, me too. Of Glendower. Glendower? It is Owen Glendower. And secondly, the tripartite indenture of 1405 was an agreement for the division of England and Wales between Glendower, Edmund Mortimer, and which northern English nobleman? 1405. Oh, it's Henry IV. No, it's not Henry IV. It's a time frame of Henry IV. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. He was a nobleman, wasn't he? It was Henry Glendower. Henry IV? No, it was Henry Percy, the Earl of Northumberland. 
And finally, under the agreement, a greatly enlarged Wales would extend to the River Severn as far as Worcester. The border would then extend to the source of the Trent. And which other river? The Mersey? The Mersey is correct, yes. yes. <laughs> We're going to take a second picture round now. If your picture starter, you're going to see a still from a film. For ten points, give me the film's title. Queen's Breen. Thelma and Louise. It is Thelma and Louise. <laughs> In 1992, Kelly Curry's script for Thelma and Louise made her the first woman to win the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay with a solo authored script. For your picture bonuses, you'll see stills from three subsequent films for which a woman won an Oscar as the sole credited screenwriter. I just need the title of each film. Firstly... Uh, Juno. 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 That's Juno, written by Diablo Cody. Secondly... The pianist? Oh, no, it's the piano, oh. written and directed by Jane Campion. And finally. I'm going for it then. Lost in Translation? Lost in Translation, which was written and directed by Sophia Coppola. <laughs> Ten points for this. In physics, what two-word term expresses 6.67259 times 10 to the minus 11 newton metres squared per kilogram squared? Queen's Hooton. Uh, Newton's constant. Correct. You get a set of bonuses now on mathematics, please. What theorem is described as follows? Every polynomial equation having complex coefficients and a degree greater than or equal to 1 has at least one complex root. Could it be like something like De Marv's theorem? I know that translates between them somehow. Um, All right, I'll try it. Sure. De Marv's theorem? That's the fundamental theorem of algebra. No, no, no. The fundamental <laughs> theorem of calculus relates which two branches of mathematical analysis? Just be differentiation and integration. Differentiation and integration? Correct. And finally, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every positive integer has a unique factorization into what? It's prime. Oh, it's. It's. Yeah, it's, it's prime. prime yeah, it's prime factors. Thank it's you. prime factors. Correct. <laughs> right, 10 points for this. Give both answers promptly. What are the common names of the two families of monotremes, the egg laying mammals? <laughs> Bristol Idale. Platypus and Echidna. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a mineral Bristol. Which common phosphate mineral defines grade five on the Mohs scale of hardness immediately below orthoclase? I need a seven letter name. Quartz. Mm -hmm. Six. Granite, is that one? No, granite is seven. Okay. Granite? No, it's appetite. Major deposits of appetite occur in which peninsula of northwest Russia? Its main city is Murmansk. Oh, um, Karelia. Karelia? Karelia. Should I nominate? Nominate Iredale. Karelia? No, it's the Kola Peninsula. Appetite is the chief constituent of which specific tissue of the human body? The tissue in question is notably hardened by fluorides. Enamel? Enamel is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Exploring India as a nation blighted by corruption. Which debut novel by the Indian-Australian writer Aravind Adiga won the 2008... Bristol Basu. The White Tiger. The White Tiger is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on battles, Bristol. Fought in central Japan in 1600, 
the Battle of Sekigahara ensured the supremacy of which noble family it gives its name to the enduring shogunate that followed? Oda. 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 I think so. Oda? No, it's the Tokugawa. The Battle of Narva in 1700 was a decisive Swedish victory in the Great Northern War. In which present-day country is Narva? Lots of choices. Swedish fighting in Norway. Come on. Norway? Norway? No, it's in Estonia. The scene of a British defeat of January 1900, which hill near Ladysmith in South Africa gives its name to stands or terraces in several British sports stadia? I need a two word name. Nominate Sumner. Spears Cop. No, it's Spion Cop. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which SI-derived unit is equivalent to the charge transported by a constant current of one ampere in one second? It's named after a French scientist <laughs> for... Bristol Sumner. An amp. Ampere. No, you lose five points. Uh, it's named Queensbury. after a French scientist born 1736. Voltaire. Voltaire? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Voltaire. <laughs> no, it's Coulomb. <laughs> Ten points for this. The 5th century Indian poet and dramatist Kalidasa is often considered the greatest Indian writer. In which Indo-Aryan language did he write? Bristol Basu. Sanskrit. Sanskrit is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, Bristol, on towers. From the Old Norse for castle, what five-letter term denotes prehistoric round towers with hollow dry stone walls. They're especially common in Caithness, Orkney and Shetland. I will know it when they say it. Did you do the... no, Come no. on, let's have an answer, please. Nothing. No, sorry. No. Sorry. It's, it's part. Brock. From a Norman French word for a stake or palisade, what short word is used of small fortified towers used as residences on both sides and at the wrong? Queen's University, Belfast have 110, but Bristol University have 140. <laughs> well, you started well, Queen's. Uh, Voltaire is the most amazing <laughs> answer we've had for a long time. What a man he was. Uh, Bristol, congratulations to you. Well done. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Queen's University, Belfast. Goodbye. 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 It's goodbye from Bristol University. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>